Hey guys, Oliver from Data Academy here. Today, I'm going to teach you about sets. A set is an unordered and unindexed collection of data that does not allow duplicate values. Elements in a set are also unchangeable, and membership within a set is more important than the order that elements were added in. So what can we add into a set? Set elements have to be immutable, and that means we can add integers, floats, strings, and tuples, but we cannot add a set because that is a mutable data structure. Fortunately, Python has a solution for us, which is a frozen set. We'll look at that later in the video. First, let's look at ways to create a set. We'll name our first set x, and we use the set function. To add elements into our set, we use the dot add function. Let's add in the numbers one, two, and three. Now we see that we have the numbers one, two, and three in our set named x. To remove values, we use the dot remove function. And now we just have one and two. Like I said before, a set does not allow duplicates. So what if we try and add the number two again? There's no two in our set. All right, let's look at the second way we can create a set. We'll name our set x again. And instead of using the set function and then adding elements individually, we can use curly braces and just type all our elements in right away like this. And it works the exact same way. We can also use dot add and dot remove now. And if you use curly braces to add in duplicates right away, it'll just remove all the duplicate values. Let's do a quick exercise. I have a list here called my list and what I want you to do is remove all duplicates inside this list and then calculate the average. You can try this on your own and when you're ready, you can unpause the video and see how I did it. First, I'm going to convert my list to a set. We can use the set function. And now when we call my list, we have one, two, and three. We've removed all duplicates. Now for the average part. First, we can use the sum function to find the total. And then we'll divide that by the length, which is the number of elements within our list. That gives us two. Let's talk about frozen sets. To create a frozen set, we would do it the same way as a regular set, except first we type frozen set and inside the brackets, we create our set. And I'm gonna give it some duplicate values just to show you that it works in the exact same way as a regular set, except now it says frozen set before. And when we check the type of X, it'll tell us that it's a frozen set. If we try and add or remove values to it, it's gonna tell us that it has no attribute add because it is immutable. Now let's try removing. There we go. All right, let's look at a real world example now. Let's say there's two gyms, gym one and gym two. And we have a set containing everybody who holds memberships to these two gyms. So our gym one set is gonna be first, I hold a membership to the first gym and so does my friend John. And let's say Mary also wants to join our gym. Now when we call gym one, we can see that Oliver, Mary, and John all have memberships to this gym. Okay, so I really love working out. I also hold a membership to gym two. And so does my other friend, David. Now, when we call gym one and gym two, we can see everybody who holds memberships to these gyms. And I'm gonna teach you some more advanced operators for sets now. First of all, these two gyms are planning to come together and form one new massive gym. This is going to be called the new gym. And they want to find out everybody who holds memberships from the first and the second gym. We can use the union, which is the vertical line. And we put that between gym one and gym two. And it's going to tell us everybody who holds a membership to these gyms, which is Oliver, Mary, David, and John. We could also 
find out who holds a membership to both gyms. What if this new gym wants to see who is paying for both gyms? We're only going to make them pay the membership of one gym now. So we would be using the ampersand. And I'm the only one who holds a membership to both gyms. And finally, we can also use the caret to find the symmetric difference. And this means people who hold a membership to one gym, but not both. And that's Mary, David, and John. Thanks for watching this video about sets, everyone. Stay tuned for the dictionaries video. See you all next time.